All right, Mayor Zach, uh, welcome to another edition of Mayor's Monday. You got us on a field trip today here at the Wisconsin Rapids Aspirus uh, Hospital Branch. You've got a great project that you just announced today and actually you're really excited about. Yeah, so we're here standing at the base of the tower at Ruru, uh, Aspirus Ruru's Hospital here in Wisconsin Rapids. And uh, they've got, embarked on a pretty substantial project, about $25 million of investment to uh, bring about a new emergency department within the base of the tower, uh, as well as a new family birthing center. And the new birthing suites uh, will be uh, state-of-the-art uh, for those that are having births maybe in their lives, an important uh, stage in, in many people's lives to bringing someone into the world. So uh, having that right at the base of the Wisconsin River here, uh, maximizing the views where the birthing center will be. Um, so the project will, will be going on for a number of months yet throughout the winter and spring uh, this year. And, uh, and as well as a number of uh, construction jobs, not only indirectly and directly related to the project, but also um, as they roll out uh, new services here in the community. Yeah, and since, I was gonna say, since Aspirus acquired the hospital here, uh, they've created dozens of jobs here in Wisconsin Rapids, and we know that uh, economic development, uh, one of the core components of that is having strong, uh, world-renowned uh, um, medical facilities. And of course, that's always a, a big attraction, too, when you're talking about bringing people into town. They look at what options they have for Healthcare, and when you come out and you see a building as, as majestic, a three story building yeah. like this, it's got a very modern feel to it. That's a big attractor as well. Yeah, we've long regarded our community hospital, and when Aspirus uh, stepped in to integrate the hospital within their system, uh, we wanted to make sure that the community hospital feel uh, and, and touch and care was still provided. But certainly, as we're looking to attract uh, people to the Wisconsin Rapids area, no question do they look at the medical facilities uh, that our community offers. And you mentioned the construction jobs too. With this, with this project, so what? kind of level of construction jobs are you looking at bringing over over a, a month period? I, I haven't gotten a full number, but I would suspect there's at least uh, 175 construction jobs at various points in the project, uh, given the nature of the, the work, since there is so much physical built construction involved with the project. And, and how over how many months then is this project going to be going on? Uh, we believe at least eight months, uh, it may even be over the course of 12 months. Uh, this is the first phase of multiple investments and services that they hope to bring to the community. So uh, we believe, you know, they made good on their on their word that they want to uh, make this hospital service the Wisconsin Rapids area and even much uh, much broader community and region uh, throughout our area. So, then what other phases of uh, projects with this hospital are we going to be seeing over the next uh, few years? Do they have that mapped out? Yeah, they've talked about uh, various uh, cardiac services, some of which they've already brought to the community with providing a uh, cardiac provider down to the community, something we didn't have previously, and they're going to continue to evaluate that and decide if they want to expand that service. We also have a very renowned cancer center here at the hospital, uh, something again that's providing a community our size great service, as well as those uh, that are coming to seek care in our community. So this is obviously uh, this hospital, the reason we're here filming at this location, it's a very solid cornerstone of the community. No question, yeah, it's, it's been an anchor institution in our community for, for 100 years, and we believe for the next 100 it's going to be just as important as it was in, in its past. Uh, we're also standing across the street uh, from Demets Park, which is the base and the start of our riverbank project, which will be getting underway this spring. Um, so a nexus of a lot of activity here in Wisconsin Rapids, uh, not only uh, creating jobs in the case of the hospital, but also uh, improving the recreational assets and, and maximizing our beautiful riverfront here in the community. Yeah, and the, and the riverfront's another attraction in this community. Yeah, people, they, they want to be by that, especially if they like outdoor activities or water sports. There's a lot to offer right here in this area. No question, and, and we believe uh, the same. We believe they can be even more of an attraction uh, for residents and visitors alike. So, and then exactly with the riverfront project, what are you envisioning? Well, uh, we'll get into that in future updates, I think, because we could talk about that in a whole segment. Right. Uh, but in short, we're adding a recreational trail, uh, shade structure, some restrooms, uh, as well as other fitness stations to uh, improve the recreational and, and well-being of the uh, nature of our parks. One of the other uh, recent updates is gonna, probably going to become a staple of your community for, for years to come is the outdoor pool and splash park area. You were doing some some updates on that and in fact something you're even trying to get the kids involved in with your uh, your youth council. Talk about that a little bit That's this right. week. The Mayor's Youth Council still has their quarter million dollar uh, fundraising goal and they're going to be uh, mapping out uh, some updates uh, throughout March actually for the community to come together and support their fundraising effort. Uh, so we still remain in fundraising mode for four million dollars uh, that we wish to uh, raise to before we can break ground uh, on the pool and aquatic center uh, development uh, over at Witter Field which is just a few blocks from here. 
And uh, the project that you're talking about there, what do you envision that to be? An indoor aquatic center, splash pad, family pool type Sweet. atmosphere? Um, the aquatics portion is entirely outdoor, uh, so maximizing the fact that residents and, and citizens want to be outdoors in the summertime. Uh, we don't get a lot of chances to be outside, except some days <laughs> like today where we can come outside. Uh, but residents really told us they wanted to be outdoors, and so that development is, is primarily outdoors, but it's also got uh, winter and, and other uh, off uh, summer season activities uh, associated with the project, whether it's skating or whether it's uh, hockey, lowboard hockey, uh, some of those features we're working to integrate into the master plan uh, so we can get those uh, components so it's a really a year-round destination for our community. Yeah, it, it, especially in this part of the country, you've got to have those year-round destinations for families because you, you don't want to sit inside during the winter. It's too uncomfortable to be outside. Well, this is a good way to, to kind of break up the monogamy of the, uh, the winter season. You got it. So it's going to be, I feel, a great addition for your community as well. No question. Uh, what else do you have coming up in the pipeline here in, uh, in Wisconsin Rapids? Like well, that's a, that's a few of the big projects we've been working on. The Rapids Mall, obviously, is another uh, project that, uh, you know, they continue to raise money, the YMCA and the Boys and Girls Club, uh, to realize their vision and dream uh, to bring about those two entities in the former Rapids Mall. So that project uh, is hosting a number of hard hat tours throughout the winter months here so folks can come in and see uh, about the development there. And then, of course, uh, election season coming up. We're not too far away from primaries and, and the... Uh, the general election in April. Give us, give the listeners an idea. What do you have coming up uh, in that department here in Wisconsin Rapids? What all's up for votes? Well, uh, we've got my the mayor seat is up uh, at the top of the ticket. We also have four city council seats. Uh, a couple of them are contested. A couple are uncontested. And so there will be opportunities for residents to engage and hear everyone's vision uh, for what they'd like to see our city become. Uh, and election day on April third. And uh, you yourself, you're up for re-election. I am. Ticket. Yes, I am running for re-election. I uh, really believe that we've uh, established a really strong foundation in my time in office and really building on the success of the community. It's projects like this that it's so exciting to be a part of and there's many more uh, that are coming that, that I want to see to fruition before I step aside. Okay.